you are visiting from Proverbs 31 Devotions, I just want to say I am so glad you're here and it's so nice to meet you. And I just wanted to give you a face to go with the writing that you read today. And so if you didn't read the devotion that I wrote today, go to Proverbs31.org and click on devotions and um, you'll see the devotion and the reason I want you to read it is because a lot of what I'm going to talk about in this video um, it relates back to that devotion. So anyways in that devotion I talk about how I violated the marriage trust in a huge way. Um, I did some things financially behind my husband's back without talking to him um, I ended up in a lot of debt without ever meaning to get there um, and without ever letting my husband what was know what was going on in our financial situation. So if you're visiting my blog, I'm wondering if maybe you are in the same situation today. And um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement. And the very first thing I want to encourage you is to go read Deuteronomy chapter 30. And I'm not going to read it to you, but I want you to go read it and see what the Lord speaks to your heart. Because in Deuteronomy 30, it talks about um, how God will restore you when you turn away from your sin. And I just want you to go read that. Because a lot of times we think, um, you know, if we have messed things up in our marriage and we have sinned and we have done some things wrong, that there's no room for restoration there. That, you know, we have messed up too bad and that God's grace isn't powerful enough. So the very first thing I want you to know is that restoration is always possible no matter what so go read Deuteronomy 30 and just see what the Lord speaks to your heart um another thing is I get asked a lot of times how did you tell your husband and I just want y'all to know that it wasn't like you know I'm some supernatural person who was able to tell my husband um, I believe it was the power of the Lord in me and him convicting my heart so deeply that I didn't have a choice not to tell him. I was just so miserable and so eaten up inside um, that I finally had to tell him. And, and I had to lean on a friend of mine and have her pray for me while I told him because I was scared to death. And if you are in that place, if you if there is something you need to tell your husband, the last thing I want to tell you is... Um, is to be patient and wait for the Lord. And I want to share a verse with you. And it's from Psalm 37. And it's Psalm 37, 7. And it says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways when they carry their on with their wicked schemes. And so be patient and wait on the Lord. Your marriage probably didn't get in the place it's in overnight. And it's not going to be fixed overnight. It'd be awesome if it was. But I would be super surprised if, um, you know, you come out with something to your husband like I did. And it's just immediately fixed. Um, things just take time. And the thing is, when we're trying to heal something like our marriage and we're trying to be patient and we're trying to wait that, you know, Satan's an opportunist. So he comes in in those times and he tells us, you know, this isn't worth waiting for and you messed up too bad and restoration's not possible. And that's absolutely not true. So when you're in the wait period, do not listen to those lies. Listen to the promises of God and that say restoration is possible. And when you're in a stressful time, if you're in a stressful time in your marriage right now, the last thing I want to encourage you is to join the Stressless Living online Bible study that's coming up. And it's going to be on melissataylor.org. And I've got information about it below this video because Sometimes we just need some sisters to walk through with us um, through these stressful times. So I just want to encourage you to look into that Bible study, um, to read Deuteronomy chapter 30 and what the God has to say about restoration and to wait patiently on the Lord and to trust in Him and His promises. And I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. See you later.